Hello and welcome to sapyard.com. Today in this short video, we will understand the basic difference between soap and rest. We will try to learn it with an example of a horse, horse with the chariot and the rider, and then the horse just with the rider, no chariot or the cart. We know that HTTP is the protocol we use for both SOAP and REST. If HTTP was the horse which is fast and can carry people and cart, then in that case people is the data and cart or the carrier is the envelope or the signature. So if the HTTP has anything on top of data, then it has to be SOAP. In our horse analogy, Horse is HTTP, cart is the WSDL envelope or the signature which has to be sent to the target and the rider is the data. So SOAP is equal to HTTP plus WSDL signature plus the data. Let us look into another diagram. This is the HTTP which is our horse. This is the carrier or the WSDL envelope which has to go for a SOAP and then the man is the data. So all this combined HTTP plus the WSDL signature or the envelope along with the data is the SOAP. I hope you are clear what SOAP is. Now if the horse just has the rider with no cart or chariot attached, it is REST. In this example, REST equals to HTTP plus the data. Even if you are not working in software industry, Looking at the horse with the cart and the rider and just the rider, you can guess with the common knowledge that the horse with the rider will be more efficient than the horse with the rider and the chariot attached to it. The horse with just the rider will be more efficient, fast and lighter. That is the reason rest is the preferred method in this modern times. Let us now check how our trainer explained the same concepts with some more technical inputs. Over to our trainer now. So before getting into REST versus SOAP architecture, we have to uh, understand what is the client server architecture means. Yeah. So basic, everyone knows these all, these everything. Let's quickly draw small diagrams. So this is our client, nothing but the browser. Okay, and here we have the server. In our case, it's a NetWeaver, right? So this communication happens using HTTP protocol. So usually browser and the server communicates using HTTP protocol. So it sends the request and the response. This is how whole architecture is working. Uh, this is being mostly followed using SOAP and the REST protocols. So what happens? Let's see uh, what is the main difference between SOAP and REST. So SOAP individually stands as separate but whereas REST is an architecture or a framework kind which is also using HTTP protocol where here do we see the OData is OData is a subset of the REST protocol yeah so this is actually OData lies below so OData is a subset of uh, REST actually and then let's see how, how this architecture differentiates. I have shown a quick diagram. We'll see this diagram, how it actually behaves. I'll explain. Let's take uh, both the REST and the SOAP follows the HTTP protocol, right? So let's take this horse as the HTTP protocol, okay? So this chariot is actually the SOAP one and this particular horse with a man is a REST protocol. So what does it happen is, when you want to transfer, when you want to move some properties or some goods towards a particular destination, from A to B, you have to move your goods or load uh, or even a person you use this entire uh, setup you have to use this entire chariot along with the horse so along with the HTTP you have to use this particular load as well so that's how it is working in SOAP but whereas in REST if you want to attach the goods you insert this chariot or whatever the carrier kind you will attach to the horse and then you send it in case if you don't want to send the entire goods you just remove it and put the person alone that's how it is getting transferred to the destination so this is the main difference what the load is getting restricted in terms based on the data okay 
if you want you will attach the goods if you don't want you will remove it that's the main difference see in short i can say it actually wraps the data along with this carrier you put the data inside this carrier and move along with the carrier that particular carrier you would have heard it as wsdl okay when you are creating a soap service you would have used this wsdl concept so that's why we have a complexity and the load is also heavy that's the reason you have to use that particular norms and guidelines to transfer the data in http format along with the http right so but here depends on the data even though simple just attach the http alone along with the data you the along with the http the whole data itself is getting transferred not like this particular load or the particular architecture you have to follow to transfer the data that's the main difference i can say so still if you are not clear we have uh, one more example i can say okay so the small picture let's say this is uh, a sender and similarly you have a receiver okay so you are sending some post to your friend okay you are posting some mail to your friend not the email the traditional mail okay so what happens you in in middle you will have a post guy the postman so this post is going to your friend actually this way it will go to your friend so what you will do you will get a postcard and you will write all the uh, details or the stories whatever you want to send it to your friend you will write it on the postcard and you send it in other case let's say the same setup but you do along with an envelope okay let's say you send it along with an envelope okay two different thing you are sending your post to a, to the friend using a postcard in the first scenario and this is with an envelope and the envelope will comprise of the postcard okay this is the difference so you can directly write your details in the postcard and send it to your friend and you can attach inside the envelope and send it to the friend this is the difference i am saying so when you want to send only uh, the details you can just use the postcard so this is the first scenario is actually the rest protocol okay the second scenario is actually the uh, soap protocol you have to attach your envelope always to carry a simple data or even a large data you have to always envelope it and send it if your data is going to be huge then you can also uh, envelope you no need to envelope here you can just have a huge postcard like that example i'm saying okay this is how the rest versus soap is differing you send the data along with the http here you have to envelope it and put it in the http that's the main difference between soap and the rest so you easily understand why soap is nowadays not being used and why we move to the rest protocol the main thing is complexity always you have to use this wsdl envelope you have to follow this architecture okay that's the reason we are moving towards rest protocol let's see a technical comparison how we are differentiating a uh, rest versus soap so let's put like technical comparison and then we have soap versus rest okay first we will see in the data type data type in the format of output let me put it output format so xml will always oh sorry the soap will always follow the xml based output xml based output whereas rest can follow both xml and json format you would have seen we would have uh, done o data in the format of xml as well as json that's the example okay then post operations what does this post operation means whatever you can do is create uh, or update these kind of operations crude operations so this when you are doing you have to follow this envelope always wsdl envelope but here you can directly send it in the http itself straight forward we have explained this already right straight forward along with http fine and then okay then we have the readability format what is this readability is uh, when you see the uh, request and the response it will be not easy to interpret in the format of soap service whereas if you see the uh, request in the rest it will be much easier to interpret you will easily when you format it in the json you will easily see it in the format of entity entity set you will easily identify okay this is what data is coming and we could able to uh, see what data is missing and what is in terms of human readability i am saying okay it is easily easy to interpret okay then we'll see the protocol supports it supports http ftp and smtp these are all the protocols it can be supported whereas in 
rest we only follow HTTP protocol. Okay, then we have the complexity. You understood clearly by based on the horse example, it's too much complexity. And when you send a request, uh, when you send it uh, across to a person to the destination. There you have to parse the XML, the data which is received, you have to transform the XML to the whatever the format uh, you want in the system. So that parsing or the transformation is too high actually, okay, too high in complexity. Also, the parsing or transformation of the received XML is complex to do, okay, but whereas here, it is less complex. You can directly consume it and use, you can transform it easily. That's what in REST we do. And finally, we have one more, one more point, the usage. In real time usage, we have around 18% uh, being used, whereas REST is around 73 to 83 approximately, we are using it. So this is what uh, the technical differences between SOAP and REST on an overview, overview level.